nice. If anyone else shows up, we'll shun them. Perfect. Thanks for, thanks for coming out after 15 years of Naruto. <laughs> I'm 84. <laughs> so started when I was 70. <laughs> I feel I feel like the show has aged us. I, I think so too. I just told you. So I was like, hey, you have great hair, man. <laughs> it's true. And I do too, but I dye mine. And I'm not an idiot. I didn't start with gray. This show gave me gray hair. It did. It gave you gray hair and a baby. Right. Sometimes things like that happen. Yeah. That's true. I promise I'm a better dad than Sasuke. <laughs> I'm not sure Naruto's such a good daddy. <laughs> 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 we do Naruto is hang out and talk about each other's kids. Yeah, that's right. We just talk and stand by a bunch of papers. And I'm just mad at Shikamaru all the time. Yeah. So yeah, pretty much. You're mad at her. Yeah, I'm more mad than I'm more mad. Uh, we should introduce ourselves. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, I'm Miley playing in. I play Naruto. And uh, I've done a bunch of other crap. Yeah. A little show you can or as every Uber driver in the world says, Naruto! Yeah. Naruto! 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 And I don't tip them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the tip is telling them how to think. That's right. That's right. That's the tip. Here's your tip. <laughs> Stay correct and get me out of the car. No. Um, hi, I'm Tara Platt and I voice Tamari. I'm yeah, you do. play Sasuke, and if you've never seen Naruto, then you may be in the wrong panel. Yeah. <laughs> but we do other stuff. We, we do, do other stuff, too. We do. Yeah. Uh, Games, and TV, and films, and yeah. podcasts. Books. 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 Although this panel is supposed to be everything Naruto, which oh, I, I hope you guys are going to contribute some of that, because I'm not right. sure that the three of us can provide everything <laughs> Naruto. Right. Let's not forget, we all drink. I so, right. And we forget things easily. Yes. I would argue that you guys know a lot more about the show than we do. Yes. But I'm just putting that out there. I think that's probably true. For yeah, me. especially because we've been and doing I, the show so long. I love that. Yeah. yeah. We've been doing it. Oh, we don't have a mic for oh, questions. questions. I could give up my mic and I'll that's just okay. shout it's, at you guys. It's, it's mostly a small room. Well, I think we can hear you. Do you guys want to make a line in the middle? And then whoever is the person in front will say their question. We will repeat it back so the entire audience can hear you. And God, it's like respond. you've done this before. Hey, they've all seen it on YouTube. I feel like I feel like everything I answer, people are know what the answer is gonna be. It's getting harder and harder to find on YouTube in the summer of nineteen. Yeah. Right. No, because we would, we would much rather spend this panel answering questions you would love the answers to yes. than just here because we could. Yeah. yeah. It's also an escape room. So if you don't have the right clues, you're stuck with us all night long. Good luck! Believe it! First one down. Done it my own. Yes, and then we will repeat it back. I would say she does the monologues and the lines constantly, but yes, go on. Ooh. The question was, considering that we all have to do monologues and scenes repeatedly in the show, which scene or monologue had the most impact on us for that character? Well, no. well I can't think of a monologue, but I can tell you I've said this a million times. That's my ninja, my ninja way. <laughs> In the, between the videos and the... I don't doubt that. We've done uh, six movies. Yeah. 732, is that? I think so. 732. At least. So, uh, 42. 35. Oh yeah, let's go with seven over 700. That thing. Yeah. Episodes. It's and over 700! Yeah! And uh, Dragon Ball what? Uh, <laughs> Take that one, please. I love to do that when they're sitting next to me. <laughs> Just hammer away at John Schimmel. Uh, anyway, and we've done, I've done 42 video games. Yeah. You're in all of them, though. Yeah. So some of us haven't done that many, because we're not involved. Well, yeah. But you don't have to scream, Rock Singer! That's true. I just went out as June 2 So guess what? I just said it. Don't ask me to do it again. You're welcome, Chicago. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, uh, for me, I, you know, it's yeah. I, it, there's a there's a lot of uh, uh, final fights 
uh, <laughs> me and, uh, and uh, Naruto. Um, I don't know which which one of the final fight, uh, the final, the final, final, the final fight. <laughs> the final fantasy fight. I, I do love how that relationship, uh, how that relationship comes, to, to, you know, finally to the final, final. <laughs> For, for somebody who is somebody's obviously best friend slash lover, yes. um, Sasuke, it takes, it. it takes a long time for Sasuke to, to figure it out. Well, it He's sometimes it takes a while for people to come out, Yuri, so, yeah. you know, give him a I'll get, I'll get there eventually. Okay, is there a closet version for Ninja? Yeah, it's pflagninja.com. Right. right. There it is. I um, agree. Okay. And then for my character, uh, I still just love that moment uh, toward the very, very beginning of the series where I see Sasuke for the first time because I really thought that there was going to be something going on there, and then there wasn't. So there was, yeah. there's always going to be a little local hottie. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Not you. That's fine. I will repeat your question anyway. Okay, this is a special request. He would like a scene from Naruto, but I don't know if the actors are going to perform it, so I have to put it forth to them so you all understand. Uh, it, it would have to be something we just make up. Yeah! Because um, I don't remember I don't enough of the lines to... Yeah, right? To, right. Couples counseling! <laughs> Who said that? Thank you guys for coming in today. I was so good to see you. So tell me, Naruto. Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Um, have you... Seen any improvement in your relationship? No. Is there anything you would like to talk about, Sasuke? <laughs> it's all your fault. Sasuke, would you like to participate in the conversation? <laughs> <laughs> and Naruto, how does that make you feel? Angry. All right. Well, it was great seeing you guys today. Thanks so much for coming in. That'll be three hundred dollars. I'll see you next Tuesday. Okay. okay. <laughs> Dr. Tamari. Dr. Tamari! <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's what it's called, Dr. Tamari. All right, try like that. Therapy. Oh my god. That is awesome. Yeah, that's that's we've never done that before. Yeah. That you guys were the first to ever get that. No, but we've never done. We've all never done this. Yeah. With each no, we don't. We've never. That's so weird. I know. We only. I think that. We've never had panel together. That's <laughs> embarrassing. Maybe the last time I was with these guys at a convention was in Sydney, Australia. Yeah. And, and she kept pretending she didn't know who we were. It was really awesome. So awesome. I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing along really well. They're nice people. Get them away from me. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. How was the first day, you know, the first time you guys did the character role, you know, like Sasuke, you know, the first day, how was the first day? Stressful. <laughs> yeah. I know the first day always is. Yeah. Oh, the first day was so hard, especially because we auditioned and I didn't know anything about the show early on. And so I made the mistake of going online to find out more about it. Yes. And everybody was like, don't you guys mess this up. Yeah. We, we don't want to, you know, the English dub's going to suck and we're going to kill you. And like, I'm like, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, fans love stuff. That's, that's, you know, that's what I Sometimes love. Sometimes they want to kill you, but yeah, anyway. Right. <laughs> Apple's more. I'm going to say fan is debatable at that point. Yeah, yeah okay. Okay. Yeah. Right there, yeah, well, there, that, that would be amazing. I don't know what that means. Oh. Oh. Oh, we did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was in the final There are only so many hairstyles in, in you know, in, in, in uh, anime, so. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. All the final kind of nice. things. Thank him. Thank, thank There's you. someone very important next. And were you, are you about and to propose to me? it's not Sasuke! Are you about to propose to me? I do! I do! I will marry you! <laughs> Okay. Don't touch okay. it. Well, then, well, not don't touch it. Then I don't want to marry you. <laughs> but thank you. That's amazing. All right, we got another question here. Yes, hello. Wow. Naruto. What? You've come to couples counseling. No, gone. <laughs> Do you like 
make me better, though? <laughs> we can't hear you when you're talking to her. It's fine. I know Mary. Thank you. I think we could probably make that happen. <laughs> share of screaming, Sasuke has. Um, the, uh, and any scene where I know the other character is voiced by Steve Bloom, because he's so handsome that it's distracting, and, and I find it hard getting through lines uh, when I'm, so I hate those scenes. Okay. Um, well, I'll tell you a little story. Last week I went in to do Boruto. I know, I know, whatever you think of it. Keep it to yourself! No, I'm kidding. Uh, people are always like, do you like it or not? I'm like, I've watched three episodes. I have no idea. Like, uh, I literally have watched three episodes. I like, we like that we still have jobs. Yeah, yeah. I like paying my mortgage. Hey. Um, but last week, um, I was doing Porto and recording a scene, and we watched. How we do it is in dubbing. We don't get the scripts beforehand, so if you want to be an actor and want to do anime, you know, dubbing, which is what we call it, dubbing, uh, you have to be able to be a very fast reader. And you can't have, it's very hard to do if you have a reading disability, like dyslexia or something, probably not the acting job for you. Because we never get the scripts beforehand in anime. And we read them on an iPad. And then the director describes a little bit of the scene, and then they play a little bit of the scene, and you watch, you look at the script, you look at the lines, you look at the script, you look at the lines. So, um, then they play three beeps, in your headphones, and where the imaginary fourth beep is, is where you start talking and try and match the lip flaps. That's the process. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot to think about. Yeah, it's kind of complicated, and it takes a while to get really good at it. Um, but last week I was doing Boruto, and there was a scene, and it was very like mundane, not anything exciting. And they said, oh, let's play, the director said, uh, oh, let's play back uh, what happened right before this. And I'm like, tick tock, I got sushi to eat. No. Uh, <laughs> so I thought, that's weird because it doesn't have anything to do with it. And it was just a mouthful of garbage from that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even still remember what you said. It was probably filthy. filthy that that is something we'll do. Because we, because we record solo, yeah. occasionally, one of us will think of a really funny, funny dog. By one of us, he means himself or Steve right. Bloom or Chris Ben or right. Um, something, something you know that, that fits the the lip flaps, but is uh, utterly filthy or just you know just sort of a joke. Yeah. And I'll ask if Miley's been in yet. Yeah. And they'll so say, they'll no, she's, it if you have She's coming in later yeah. later this week. I'm like, okay, well here's one for her. <laughs> and then we'll uh, we'll record a we'll, little uh, little the dub bomb. Yeah. And it's filthy dirty. And I'm not clever enough to come up with a dirty, filthy dub bomb <laughs> on the spot. I don't do that many. It's, it's you guys mostly that do it to me. But, um, but there is a vault of us saying horrible things in our characters. <laughs> and there was a game where one tiny one got... Oh, got it! Got it! Yeah. 
but it wasn't it wasn't swearing but it was it was not but just a small one but i'm i'm telling you man we would have we would be fired so fast they found that stuff. but it's just for fun anyway sorry you won't, you won't get this yeah Oh, I didn't want you guys met your Japanese counterparts. Ooh. Ooh. Have we ever met our Japanese counterparts? Um, I, I never have. No, we kind of did a video back and forth thing, but that was 12 or 13. Yeah, and yeah. when we went to Japan to, to work on something else, we were doing something else there, and we were there, we actually contacted the studio and we're like, hey, oh, right. I know we're just American voice actors and we're not cool like you Japanese voice actors, but any chance that we can say hi, because we know that it's like a big, big deal in yeah. Japan. Um, and they actually tried to work it out, and then they just couldn't get the schedule. Oh. So we were going to try to get, even though we were there for something else, we were shooting a music video, sure. so we were kind of on a schedule. So we were trying to get to the studio to record, to see the record, but we couldn't make it. Yeah, no, so, no, and I don't think, to my knowledge, I don't know that anyone in our show has met their counterpart. I don't think they have. No. Oh, Chris been my Somebody, somebody, I don't know. But I feel um, like Crispin or somebody yeah, okay. went out of his way to like. Somebody, but we we three have not. We have not. But I would also I would also question why they would want to meet like, I, you know. Because the people that do their characters dumb yeah, they for probably them. don't they probably don't care and I mean that with the, the utmost respect you know. Um, who cares who does my English voice? Yeah, I don't know. I I care though. Like when I did Lab Rats um, on Disney. I, I was traveling, and I heard my voice in Spanish coming out of my body, you know, Spanish. That must and have been amazing. It was weird, and she was perfect. She was like, ah, ah, just like me. <laughs> I was like, you did it right. The German voice, not so much. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, she sounds a little more princess than I think. Oh but uh, there's a great documentary if you want to see it. It's PBS. You can Google it. And it's called I Am George Clooney. Amazing. Oh, and it's so great. It, it's all the voices, the people that voice George Clooney's voice in different languages around the world. It's it's about it's not very long. It's really good. That's awesome. Awesome. All right. So, totally. could you guys do a uh, do a uh, roast of the character you dislike most in the series? A roast of the character you dislike the most. Like How much time do you have? <laughs> Turn the sandwich in the pot. Wait, you like rule of a roast is you're supposed to be like a backhanded compliment, like it's nice, but it's also not nice. Right. Yeah. I'm not yeah. good at that. You're too nice. You're too no nice to roast. Shikamaru, you're cheeky. I don't know. <laughs> wow. That was... I'm not good at roasting. Yeah. Okay. Uh... I'm not sure how to do that. Right now. Sorry. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, we didn't mean to not do your question, but I'm not sure right. how to do that. Rose Sakura. Rose Sakura? Um, Chakra, you're just Sakura. a flower. Sakura, you're, 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 so, you're so beautiful. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever met. Whose, whose forehead is that big? <laughs> Oh, oh. Uh, okay. You won them, then you lost them. Yeah. In one breath. Same breath. Same breath. Yes. yes, hi. This is it the most chaotic moment of the series? Of, of the series for from a recording standpoint or oh. um, like story wise, character wise? Character-wise. Wow, I've um, never been asked that. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty touch and go, and I didn't know what was happening with my brother, Gara. That was pretty, like, chaotic. Mm -hmm. It was chaotic for me in a different way. There was, uh, I think it was a filler episode where, where, yeah, she, she, where Sasuke was not at all like Sasuke. Like, he was, like, dreamy Sasuke. Like, you know, like, like he was all, like, you know, like, chill and everything. And, and it was it was literally impossible for me to do like they're like okay try it again but sound like Sasuke? not like Sasuke but like not like you know because I'm in such a groove for him that for them to ask me to play Sasuke in a completely different way was actually very hard. Yeah, I'd say chaotic was. Uh, I mean. When they asked me to do the sexy juicy ones, <laughs> like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> that wasn't gonna happen, and it didn't. Thanks, Stephanie Shea. <laughs> I don't she know does that. all the burps. What about yeah. the burps? I can't burp. Oh, Mary Elizabeth does all the burps. Mm. Yeah, I can't burp. I can't. Yeah, I try, but I don't. thank you. But yeah. Stephanie, thank you. Oh, is she? All right. 
If you ever need something to work for you. Uh, As you do. Stephanie, she can play Sinatha. Look at your hat, you guys. Look at his hat. Wait. It says, Rasengan Chidori. So you program that just for this? Wow. Oh, really? Well, that could be dangerous. Right, that's where I get my passport revoked. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus! <laughs> Sitting right here! That show's not called Sasuke! Dude, it's called not Get Out of Here! I release you! <laughs> Thank you. Just kidding. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. One scene. Which scene was your favorite? Out of 14 years. Out of and 730. And it was that one scene. Yeah. Well, no, honestly, knowing that I was doing the very last scene, because when I went in to record, um, even though I mostly worked with Mary Elizabeth for uh, for most of the directing, every once in a while I would have an episode where Susie would direct. Did you ever have Susie? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and the very last time I went in to record, right before I finished, she said, this is your last scene. And I was like, wait, what? Wait, are we done? We're done. We're done. It's done? It's over? It's done? She's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, so like, that was kind of like, I was like, oh, okay. She requested that she direct all the last scenes. And when I did my last scene, it was so bittersweet. But we also had a guest in the room, which is weird. Yeah, like a young girl that oh, was visiting. Okay. So I was like, I mean, I could have just really like broken down in tears. But there was this person watching. Yeah, so I couldn't. Guys, I wasn't told it was my last You told me that. Yeah. I thought I was coming back. No, I came and I found out that afterwards. You're done. I you're like, you're done. I'm like, but that's impossible. They didn't say anything. There was no, there was no, there was no fanfare. There was no, like, yeah. we're still going to have I mean, a I wasn't expecting champagne or anything, but I was. We've been working on it for like 14, 15 years. Uh, we keep threatening to have a party, so that will, will that will happen. Yeah, in about 20 years, you're probably going to have a party. Once they do Naruto, Boruto, something, Next Generations. Boruto? Right. Right. What would be the grandkid's name? Be like a grandchild? Boruto. Boruto. <laughs> Boruto. <laughs> the oral tradition. But people at Macy's will still correct you and say, Boruto. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, you're wrong. Thanks. Um, thank, you. thank you. Now... Here's someone I like better than that guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're awesome. Hi. Why is Sasuke your favorite character? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we get to ask you guys questions if you're in line. No, I'm joking. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Good answer. All right. I like this show. Go on. <laughs> you're pitching it, right? You're pitching us the show? Right. If, if they were... Who wants nuts? <laughs> <laughs> would you show them where the, the, the exits were, or would you just not? Sasuke? And Sasuke would just come out, and, and he'd be like, if this plane goes down, you're all dead, and he'd just throw, <laughs> he'd like throw the life jacket on the floor, and then, and then walk out. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. There's, all, sure. yeah, there's always a plan. Like, Why not? I, I, I'll I, be thinking I, I, about it. I, 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 I don't imagine that. Like, I kind of imagine though, in, in, at the pilot, at the, at the pilot in the pilot seat is like is, is like guy sensei, you know, like that, <laughs> that guy's like a. He's a, With Robbie, he yeah, he sounds like he's a pilot. Yeah. On your, on, on your, your flight uh, today. Uh, that's, that's the, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay! What? Welcome to your first and you're dressed the part. Hey, everybody, let's welcome to his first set. Who made the first move, me or Sakura? I, uh, I did. <laughs> it was rejected, but I did. Technically, you did. Technically, you did. It was, it's always Sakura. If you, if you had to wait around for Sasuke to make the first move, you'd be waiting around a long time. <laughs> me. Yeah. I mean, you've seen Shikamaru. <laughs> Let's do it. Get the horizontal. What? Oh. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hi, 
Hi, oh, how old are you? Don't, awesome. don't listen to anything I've said yeah. to this point. Yeah. <laughs> Take it all Wash back. Your ears out we're, we're There's your mom. Terrible, Sorry. Terrible okay, you're the mom. You're okay. All right, let me start swearing. Uh, <laughs> Hi. What year is like? What, well, what year does it say like, to be happening in? Here's the thing. P N pre ninja. 2072 or something? It's, you know. Sometimes they have a train. And yeah, that's gone. It is, yeah, it is weird. There's walkie talkies in an episode? Yeah. Like, why do you, what? <laughs> There's a fax in the background of Boruto? <laughs> Makes no sense. Yeah. It, it, it's a it mind doesn't make any sense, but I kind of love that. It's like, if you've ever seen Afro Samurai, you were too young to watch Afro Samurai. But when you do eventually watch Afro Samurai, it's also a mixture of technology and time periods. It's, I mean, one of the things that I love about what they did for that and for Naruto is they're like, is it cool? All right, we'll put it in there. You know? <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's like machines are clearly cool. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Cool. Right. Are there giant toads in the world? No. Right. But there are Naruto. And that's why we watch anime. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Jesus. <laughs> oh, for two here. I'm kidding. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of questions all at once. Um, uh, to avoid everybody rushing the stage to get pictures with us, um, I. I will honor this one request, because you asked, but let's wait till, till as, soon, as soon as we're done. If you don't mind, I'm standing off the side, we'll do that. Um, or we're there. here all day tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we are here all day. day. At booths, that's why we're here. So, and the pictures, uh, one picture is free. Yeah. So, yeah. rather yeah. than, you know, these guys have them. That's actually going to be around tomorrow? I, Gotcha. Okay. We'll, do, we'll, do, we'll do it quick, but that's... You're that's the lucky guy. Yeah. You're the lucky guy. Get one picture that, right That's now. what you get for standing up for what you want and saying what you want, which is hard. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. That's hard. So I honor you for that. Um, he wanted to know how you got into... How you got into business and favorite, favorite role ever. Favorite role is an impossible question. I love my job too much to, to pick one. Um, what he's saying is whoever's paying him at the moment. Right, yes. <laughs> but, but because I'm because I'm sitting in this panel, it's Sasuke. <laughs> and um, and I got into it, I you know, I came out to Los Angeles with Tara to you know to be a you know a movie star. And um, and you, you gotta you gotta be flexible when you come out to Los Angeles with those kind of dreams. And uh, found you know found myself looking for work because being a movie star is not a job <laughs> um, that you can get. Um, and so uh, Terrence was more about voice acting, and so we had to look into that, because I hadn't, despite the, despite the fact that I'd grown up watching cartoons and playing video games, I didn't think that that was a job that people could get. And so, I, you know, I took a class and uh, went on a bunch of auditions, and, um, you know, one thing led to another, and then I had a small thing, and then that small thing led to a whole bunch of slightly larger things and then those you know and it kept auditioning and that's that's sort of how it uh, how it turned out and I'm, I'm not at all unhappy with uh, with with how it has turned out uh, but thank you and so yeah all right. absolutely so uh, so yeah so we're done we're going to hover over there just meet us right sure. at the edge of the stage yeah. as soon as we're done yeah. you get your yeah. picture absolutely hi <laughs> so, 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 if we were all voice actors in the world of Naruto as our characters, huh. who would they be? Who would we voice in our world? In our world. Whoever pays the most money. <laughs> Bart Simpson. <laughs> Bingo. That's yeah. That's He's a billionaire. Yeah, that's that's yep. I'm trying to think of like the deeper voice characters because as a girl I do the deeper. Uh, Sa 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 Sasuke would, would definitely play Batman. <laughs> any of the assassin ladies from anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And, and any female assassin. Any female any assassin show. from anything. <laughs> yeah. That works. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can honestly say I've never gotten that question. No, no, no. no. That's an invisible. Hello. Congratulations. Your first time I ever doing a convention. You're asking a question. I love, I love that you're fearless and that you go like, I've got a Star Wars shirt on and I've got, I've got my, my Sasuke Shibudan belt on and I don't care what any of you think. I did. I love that you're here. Yeah. So he's asking, does Borto have the light and the shadow, like, style in the, in the anime? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody know the answer? You didn't, you didn't write it. Right I didn't write it. I only watched three episodes. Does anyone know the answer to that? No. He probably does. Hey, hey, Naruto, you would know if you talked to your son. Hey! Send, send, send the guy. Place down, handsome. Send, send the guy who talks to, to yeah. Naruto more than his own daughter. Yeah. She's not so great either. Okay. Yuri. For Yuri. Yeah. Should we make a separate what? line for Yuri? Yeah. Are we chef lover? What? Um, you know, I, 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 yes. Just shut up for once. What the hell do you know about it? It's not like you ever had a family in the first place. Whoa. We're on your own right from the beginning. What makes you think you know anything about it, huh? I'm suffering now because I had those ties. How on earth could you possibly understand what it feels like to lose all that? what happens is somebody comes up and says, hey, can you say that line about losing all that? And I'm like, what? I don't remember. Yeah. So, so, good, good, good on you. That is an amazing costume. Yes. Yeah, it does. It looks anyway. good. For all of you guys, I know that I hate artists and always I I'm not a, 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 a you white think I'm not really angel with blonde hair? That's right. I can't fly. We're good. How do we get into the emotional headspace and best convey emotions for our characters? Yeah. How can you basically convey, hey, I'm really pissed off and not sure Right. How are you an awesome actor? How are you? How are you so good at what you do? Uh, you know, black that helps. I don't know. <laughs> um, I can only speak for myself, but I always look for the humanity in the character first. And once I figure out sort of where the character's coming from, we all have our foibles. And if you can sort of go, well, I know what I feel like when I feel jealous or sad or frustrated or angry. If you connect to that, that's all you really need to know. You just look at the circumstance of who that character is talking to and how they feel about those characters that they're talking to or what they're doing and how they interact with that. And then it comes to life if you're doing your work as an actor. So I don't, as an actor, have to go, hmm, how am I gonna really become Tamari and know how she feels? I just know in this scene, Tamari's angry that something is happening, and I'm like, well, I know what anger feels like. We've all felt angry. I'm human, so I connect to the humanity of the character, and then I play the scene out. So that's what I do. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's, you know, you draw from your own experiences. Uh, but, you know, it might be like, there's something you're happy about, but you're like, okay, well, I teach voiceover to the college kids. And, um, like, one so whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Um, I do. But, uh, let me tell you, no, I drive down to Hubbard. Uh, but, one thing you do is you try and say to them, like, this is the best piece of pizza you've ever had in your life. And if, I talk about food all the time in my class. One reason is because I teach it at night after the day. Is and you're hungry. hungry. And I'm hungry, and they're hungry. You know, you're like, what's the best meal you've ever had in your life? And I'm like, oh my god, I had this great, you know, I was in Texas, and I had brisket, or whatever it is. Piece of pizza in Chicago, and I haven't had yet, thanks. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, but, and, and you 
tell them like, okay, that's how you feel about this. This is the most, this is the best meal you've ever had. And you make that analogy to whatever it is you're talking about. And we've all had loss and sadness. You convey that if you're doing a really emotional scene. And if you don't, then it sounds like you're phoning it in. And when you see anime or any actor that's bad, that's an actor who's not trying. Or they're just a terrible actor, <laughs> you know? Because if you have it in you, that's what you bring, like you were saying, to the table. Yeah, and I, I don't come from the acting school that I have to do sense memory, so I don't go back to the time that my cat died to get sad. I just know what sadness feels like because we feel emotions in our body, and so I know when I'm sad, I feel it here. I feel, and like I know what it feels like to feel sad, and so I just go, oh, this scene is sad? Okay, this is what sad is, now I'm gonna give you sad. Yeah, there's a lot of trust in it. If I think about it too hard, I mess myself up. I have to trust that they cast me for a certain reason. And I do it the way that, that Yuri, you know, who imagines himself to be a ninja, who imagines himself to be, you know, or, or your friendly neighborhood wall crawler, that, you know, I, how would... Hint, um, hint, drop hint, that, hint, is it too hint, heavy hint, for you? Right, exactly. Um, yeah, and then I just have to trust that who I am and what I bring is, is good enough. And if it's not, they'll find somebody else. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, there are people who are going to be better. And, so. and also, like, every little kid plays pretend and plays dress up and plays with their imagination. So everybody, everyone has it in them to act because every kid plays dress up. Every kid plays imagination. Every kid plays doctor or astronaut. Hey, hey. Well, right. And well, I didn't mean like that. But, uh, but like, you know, like as children, we are free and we are unjudgmental and we just enjoy going on the ride of it. And so like, that's that's mostly what we're doing. We're all just little kids and we're up here and we're like, great, this is what the game that we're playing, let's do it. Your imagination is a much more powerful tool than you, than you think. Yeah. Cool. Hey. Thank you. Hello. I'm just going to check the time because... Yeah, we are good. Okay. Naruto. No, I would never do Naruto. I could not do it. Chojo. I always liked Rock Lee. Oh, yeah. Like me. But he doesn't contract his senses. I know. He's just really hard. I don't contract my senses. That was you do not. I do not. <laughs> um, I, you know, I brought him up once before, probably, because he's on my mind, on my mind a lot. But Guy Sensei! <laughs> You no. want to be guys that I totally want to be guys that <laughs> I just did. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Sakura. Sakura. If, if Naruto, Sasuke, and, and, uh, and uh, Tamari were in a zombie apocalypse, who would be the first to die? Or Sakura. Did you say Sakura? He said Sakura. Sakura, so I said Sakura would die. Yeah, I said Sakura. Who Sakura. did you guys? You would probably throw Sakura. Oh. And if Sakura would die first, and that would suck because she's the healer, and then we'd all probably fall pretty quickly after that. Is she that good? <laughs> she sure doesn't use it that much. Huh? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Or if she were really clever and on the ball, she would just heal all the zombies right away and no one would get her. Oh, wow. That was okay. <laughs> it, would be too, it would be too late because Sasuke would have already cut off all their heads. That's true. Go on. Do you have more? No, I thought you had a head yeah. question. Oh, sorry. Okay. My name is Milo. My <laughs> bad. <laughs> okay, yeah. Naruto is lucky here. Go. Yeah, the guy was really nice. Oh, wow. How do you think Naruto's life would have changed if he'd never lost his parents? Uh, I think it would be very, well, obviously very different. Uh, the show would have one episode, right? Yeah, I'd be over. <laughs> would have no water in my pool. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think the reason why people relate to this show not everyone, but you'd be surprising. You'd be surprised at how many people come to me and say they relate to it because Naruto is an outsider. And how many people come up to me? It's usually men that are around 30 years old. I did a Comic Con for the troops in Okinawa, and it was just a lot of grown men that were like, you know, I really relate to this character. I didn't have a great home life, and then they went into the Navy or the Marines or the Army. I get that all the time from people, men and women. Uh, mostly men, and they say very personal things, and they relate to the character. So I think the journey, it's impossible to imagine him without having that pain in his life. 
I mean, it's a good, great question. It's just so, it's so, the show is so focused and these characters so focused on enduring and trying to be better and trying to achieve his goals. I think that's why so many people like it, you know? And, and so for me, it's a disconnect that I wouldn't be able to really put my head around. You're the Rocky of Ninja. Oh yeah, right? You had to, yeah. Rocky. Right. I, would, I would love to see you charge up those steps in Philly. I was in Philly. I, I did actually do it, but like seven steps, because... Yeah. You get tired, right? Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> and I was supposed to be... Like, you don't have egg milkshakes to drink, so... No. no. We had, like, you know, wine. Yeah, right. yeah, that does make it harder. Yeah. Yeah, I literally did go up those steps in Philly at a convention uh, nice. this year. Oh, well done. Yeah. And I'm supposed to do a convention with Sylvester Stallone. Weird. Woo. I know. That would be kind of weird. Because, like, when I was a kid, we came back to the United States. I grew up overseas. And, like, it was all about Rocky. I had a Rocky t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Good analogy. Uh, See, she's good. Analogies. Oh, my God. Look at you. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. Sexy no too. Uh, <laughs> really? Well, I mean, like. You don't need it. Oh. Uh, he has to say that he's married. Get a room! Oh, you know, oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> right. oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. How can I top that? Will you stay married to me? <laughs> yeah. Will you stay married to me? <laughs> um. Huh? What would I do? <laughs> well, shadow clone jutsu. I mean, you know, gotta be a little bit of a narcissist as an actor. Right? <laughs> yeah, shadow clone jutsu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, anyone ask me to sign Borjo's dad on an autograph, not gonna happen. <laughs> Let's clear that up. First time someone did that to me, I was like, hell no! Signing Borjo's dad. 14, 15 years. <laughs> oh, was it you? Where was that? In Ohio? No, in Chicago, I wasn't here in August. Not this convention, it was in one in. Oh, yeah, I was here actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, I was here in August. <laughs> she she drunk. Wrong, guys. She's drunk right now. She's drunk, I'm, she's this drunk is my right third weekend convention. at a convention in a row. Like I was in I, I was in Texas last weekend. I had a weekend before that. Two weekends before that, I was in Midland, Texas. Before that, I was in I don't know. I was in Puerto Rico in February. You're like you like George Clooney in that movie where he has like a million miles. Yes. Miles. But I don't because it's all different airlines. Right. I'm like, of course. Thank you. Thank you. you, look, thank you. Look, at his, look at his look at that outfit. Excellent cosplay, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. And just so you guys know, we only have eight more minutes. We're okay. Try so, to speed round. Speed round. So, speed round. So no speed more round. people get up. Gonna, okay. Yeah. No more people get up. Hi. Speed What's round for all these guys. Wait, you already up here. Uh. No, 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 no. Okay, go, go. <laughs> no, Naruto. 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 Uh, no, you know, that's weird. I don't know why they wouldn't have, like, a, they're probably doing other stuff, but... Yeah, we begged them to do it all together. We've never done more. I'm not sure. Sasuke. Sasuke. Sasuke, whatever. Sasuke. Yeah, I thought so. All right, next question. Next question. We've got a real yes. What village are well, they I'm from the village of the sand. Yeah. That's a good place. So, you, so you'd want to be in the village? I guess the Lee village. What? So the sand village. Cool. Uh, no, no, no. There, there's more than one. Yeah. yeah, what village do you want to go to? <gasps> sound village. Oh, I might go to Sound village. Yeah. yeah. Kabuto. <laughs> Dipman. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, you know, I, through through all of that, I think I still, I think, I think of it, but village and leaf this is my village. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. 
Which is our, yeah, our favorite character, yeah, whether, whether or not it was a character we voiced. Naruto. <laughs> Yeah. No, that's Boruto. I don't want to be Boruto. I don't want to be Boruto. I know I like Orochimaru. Oh man. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't think about being anyone other than Sasuke. It's hard. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hi. <gasps> yes. Nice. What question do you have? Is it for Miley? Is it for Miley? No, it's for Yuri. It's for Yuri. <laughs> Go on. No. How much do we echo our Japanese uh, counterpart versus making it our own? We make it our own. Yeah. Specifically for Naruto, uh, Mary Elizabeth Glenn, who directed most of the series. And who is here at this and convention. And who is here at this convention. And who plays some of the roles in it. Um, and cast it. And cast it, and it is also brilliant. Uh, she was really great at letting us bring to the character what we were bringing to the character. Sometimes you do work on a series, and they say, you know, that's you got to match that as much as you can. But she was always really great about letting us bring stuff. And then she would rein us in if we went too far, or if we weren't quite there enough, she would sort of boost it a little bit with us. I, I have to say, and it's not a popular thing to say, but there are a few characters that I think... Uh, I love the Japanese actors, but there are a few of them when they were young that sounded like they were 60 years old. And so at least they did a very good job of trying to fit uh, personalities into the right voice. Yeah. I'm not saying they didn't do that in Japan, they absolutely did. The woman who does Naruto is outstanding and amazing. And Sasuke and Tamari, most of them are fine, but every once in a while you hear one and you're like, what? Yeah. That guy's supposed to be eight years old, you know. But, uh, but yeah, you look adorable. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Um, I was wondering, if you ever heard that about being Okage. I'm going to be Okage one day. And now I am. Believe it! <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not going to go like in an upper and be like, hey, man. I'm a hamburger and I'm going to be Okage one day. It helps you get in the clubs, right? Yeah, lots of clubs. I'm a big club person. Yeah. <laughs> and raves. And then raves. Yeah, a big, brave person, yeah. Thank you, you look cute. How old are you? Oh, okay, you were alive when we yeah. started. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, Barely. We gotta clear the air before that question starts. <laughs> No, I want well, to. When yeah. you say where is the show taking us, you mean like for conventions? Where have we gone? Geographically, yeah. And have you ever been to the Naruto theme park? I would love to go to the Naruto theme park and see the Naruto musical, like the stage show. Um, but yeah. yeah. We've all been to Australia together. We were together in Australia, Perth and Sydney. Yeah, and we've done New Zealand. I've done New Zealand. Uh, we did Dublin Comic Con, Dublin. London Comic Con. London. Yeah. Um, Sweden. Oh, Puerto Rico. Rico. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I'm big in Pakistan, I hear. There you go. Uh, oh, we did, we did uh, Dubai. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, weird. We did Dubai once. Was that yeah. Fun? It was actually really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was we'll talk about that. Yeah. That's um, Thank you. It's, yeah, been, it's like, every... One of our favorite parts, one of our favorite parts about this, okay. about the Naruto has been the fandom. Cause Three it, more it minutes. Is, We're going to yeah. get through you guys. Yes, okay. we are. Hi. Hi, you look great. Thank you. Welcome. You Thanks. Okay. Okay. Um, if we ever felt so frustrated or felt a disconnect with our character that we had to take a break when we were recording? I'll tell you a funny story. When I first started, I used to, I only record for two hours at a time because there's so much screaming. And I used to do four hour stints because that's in our union contract. But I was like, this is not really working. So it was back when I was doing the four hour thing. It was one of the very first episodes. We had a different director for a little while. And the director kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me. And I was like, you know, it was hour three and a half of screaming. Yeah. Tell you one thing, you, you don't realize that screaming at the top of your lungs for hours, you just get exhausted. Physically, right? like, yeah. you get hot and sweaty. Yeah, and, like, you're just sweaty, like, and emotional, really tired. So, um, anyway, so I'm into about hour three and a half, and it, I was very new to the show. I couldn't even tell you what episode it was, and I was like, I can't do this anymore! You know, some stupid moment. And then I leave, right? I'm like, I gotta go. And I couldn't believe I did that. I never did that. And I get down to the car. It was in a building. We used to have to valet our cars to park because I was in a way to park. And I get down there and I'm like, ah, oh, I 
forgot my cell phone. Oh no. <laughs> Commercial audition was one of the worst commercial auditions I've ever ever done. Yeah. I didn't like store them out, but I was just like, I was mortified. I left. I was like, oh gosh, I hope this casting director never meets me again. This yeah. is terrifying. I, I get outside and I went, oh god, my phone is in there. So I just like stopped and I was like, I don't know what to do because I don't want to go back in that room. Yeah. And he stepped out and he was like, Tara, you forgot this. And I was like, oh, I kind of made it even worse. So I was like, okay. Oh, it's oh, it's awful. Those just, are better than any stories that I have. Sometimes you just have a bad day, yeah. but I honestly, that was the last time. But also, it was kind of effective because I realized that screaming at the top of your lungs at like nine in the morning for four hours, it just wasn't going to work yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. I, in fact, I do most, for my sessions, I request the afternoons because it is really hard to scream speed at Speed round, speed round, okay. round, speed round. Yes. Sorry. Yes. 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 What is your favorite juice you, you favorite cannot, juice use? cannot use? Well, I can't use sexy no jutsu, and I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah, definitely, definitely sexy no jutsu. I mean, your sengao's pretty good, but sexy no jutsu. <laughs> it's not wood style. I think that's a dumb jutsu. What about wind side? Wind side jutsu. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah that. Yeah. And second question. Uh, we, can't, uh, we can't. We're doing our best tomorrow, though. We're here all day tomorrow. Yeah. You're not here tomorrow? Uh, I... Uh, Crap. For you only, okay. but we can't stand, stand right here. Just stand, stand right here because we're about to. We can't right do that for everybody yes. because yes. we have been here. We've been traveling. We got in late last night, yes. and they have a kid that they have to get back to. So right. we're not. It's not personal. Yeah, but we will be here all day tomorrow. Yeah, we are. <laughs> all right, advice advice to they wrote a book. We did write a book on voiceover, and it talks a lot about acting in general. Um, but if you want to get into voiceover, I would read a lot every day because, like Miley said it earlier, you've got to be able to pull those words off the page at performance level. So you want to be able to read for character. Like, you want to be able to make it feel real. Um, if you're just inter interested in acting in general, you don't care if it's voiceover or on camera, get into theater, do plays, yep. and take, take improv classes. Class. Take classes, do, do your own web series, like create content so that you get used to what it's like to do the work of being an actor, which is asking questions, figuring out character, figuring out your own emotional arc and how deep your well goes, and then work on stretching that. Um, so get into classes, do improv, learn singing and dance, and music and get into your body. Yeah. Good. Wow, good job. Yes. Thanks for having me. Do you have a favorite fight sequence? Yeah. I like the first fight between us. That first uh, Yeah, yeah that first kind of. I like a lot of the fights, but that one resonates. And, and, and for me, it's, it's, I think it was like episode 30, it was with the Grass Ninja, and the first time, you know, Orochimaru sort of appears and he gets bit. Is that like, in the arena? It's, it's not in the arena, it's in the forest, and I think it's called the Forest of Death. It's during the training exams. And it's like they spent the budget of... 10 episodes on the animation for that one episode, and it is jaw-droppingly beautiful. Yeah. Um, that, 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 that'd be mine. I like the one in the arena. Yeah. Um, I just want to take a second to thank you guys for, for coming out um, today. I grew up going to conventions, and I think it is an amazing place uh, for, for, for nerds of all walks of life and shapes and sizes and, 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 and loves to, to come together and, and just be awesome together. And I want you guys, I want this to be a safe space for everyone coming. And I want you guys to take care of each other. I want you to be kind to each other. Um, if, if you any, see something, say something. If you see something, say something. If, if you ever run into something that makes you feel uncomfortable or threatened, go to the con. If that, if, you know, go to the con to talk about it. Don't, 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 not, stay silent. don't, don't stay silent. Um, go to, and if, and if uh, you don't feel you're hurt there, go to the, the hotel or wherever you're, talk to somebody there. And if you don't feel hurt there, go to the police. Okay? Um, and never let anybody tell you that not talking about it is the way to go. Um, it, we, we all got to talk. If you, if you feel unsafe, do that. Um, because I love you guys and I love this place that we've all created together. So thank you. Can we get one uh, group photo? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm just going to go.